It's been a long way to get here. Uh, we're very excited at this point to have a full roster together, uh, to have been able to, to put together a good group of players uh, who work well together, uh, who we've had an opportunity to have in multiple camps. Uh, so they know what we're about, they know how we work. And as we begin our final stage, uh, I think it's a group that is well prepared to, to be here. I know that nowadays, obviously, all the teams prepare and do their homework. Um, but from a preparation standpoint, I, I like where we are. Uh, I think that the group that we have uh, is well prepared. Um, they know how we work. Um, they know what we have to do here. And I think it's exciting for us to finally be in that last bit of preparation, uh, which focuses basically on the game. Uh, this is the fun part. This is what it is about. This is the place where we want to see our players perform. Um, you know, as, as you go from cycle to cycle and as you go from camp to camp within a cycle, um, you're seeing different talent and players. But I think it's, it's only until you get to must-win games uh, where you can see uh, if the talented players can actually come through. So I believe that we can. I believe that we have players who have the right personality uh, to be able to get through this challenge. Uh, and hopefully we'll be able to see that. The Development Academy has been a tremendous help for the, the whole youth national team system uh, for all the age groups. Um, obviously, we're just now starting to see the beginning of some of those Development Academy players get through all the way to the U-20 national team. And I believe over the next couple of cycles, we'll see much better results in terms of player development, in terms of having players prepared to play on the U-20 program. And I think the players are ready now to, to be more professional. Um, because of the Development Academy, they are ready to be able to step into a national team uh, without really missing uh, missing anything. Uh, so I, I believe it's been a tremendous help. I, certainly as a national team coach, uh, knowing that we have a whole scouting system under us that can recommend players and that follow play, follows players from, from week to week is, is an incredible help. Selecting a captain for the team is always difficult uh, because there's a lot of things you have to take into consideration. Um, obviously you want a player who's, who you think is going to play all the time, who's going to be important on the field. Uh, you need someone who's going to have those leadership qualities not only on the field uh, but off the field and you need someone who's been here with us, someone who has been committed uh, to come to camps and who has sort of uh, been in the whole development of the team. Um, so when I selected uh, Caleb Stanko to be the captain of the team, I believe that he has all those qualities. And on top of that, I believe he has the charisma with the team. I think he's someone that, that the players like to follow and someone who, who likes to get players on board and players in a straight line when they're not going in the right direction. So I believe that he carries all those qualities and, uh, and I know that he's going to do a great job. I think one of the things you, you can do is when you pick the roster and you're selecting all your depth, um, you have to also look at the opponents that you have and, and their strengths and weaknesses and how you can exploit uh, their weaknesses uh, and how you are going to counter their strengths. So um, a lot goes into it, um, but at the end of the day, you want to select the best team that you can select and you want to select the best talent that you want to have available and mold them into what we need for any particular, any particular game.